so here we are inside Blender 4.0 and uh, I just want you to mention that this tutorial works also for the earlier versions of Blender so let's get started so uh, before rendering in layers it's, it's quite important that you have your scene organize it into collection into several collections for example I got this gold iPhone in this standalone collection we got this blue iPhone here and also this red iPhone here so it's important that everything is organized in collection and you don't have a mess here and um, also we got the plane in a alone collection okay so to render layers in Blender it's really easy First, we will, we will go here and create a new layer, call it Gold iPhone. And uh, we're going to simply, I'm going to turn off the plane for now. And let's make this render transparent. Let's go to Film and turn on Transparent. Okay, we are in the Gold iPhone layer and let's turn off the other collections, okay? So now let's go here and let's click on copy settings and let's wait a moment. Take an account that the bigger your scene is and the, uh, take an account that if you have a bunch of 3D objects and stuff, this will take longer to copy. Uh, so here we are. Uh, let's change the name here to blue iPhone and let's turn this off and let's turn this on so as you can see if we switch from layers we got here the gold iPhone and we got here the blue iPhone okay so let's repeat the process go here copy settings let's call this red iPhone and let's turn this off and turn this on okay so as you can see we got three layers of our of our project so how can we do to render these three layers at the same time so let's go to the compositing tab and turn on use node and we got here these render layers node and this composite we don't need this so so let's delete this and let's duplicate this uh two times shift d and we got here the layer that we're going to render here. So right here, I'm going to switch this to blue iPhone and this to red iPhone, okay? And actually, let me change the color of the nodes here to something like uh, gold. So we don't lose ourselves here. Uh, okay. And let's change the color here to red. Awesome. Let's press Shift A and let's put here the file output node. And for now, let's uh, let's use the uh, PNG format to render this. Let's select the 16 color depth and compression. Turn this down to zero. And uh, let's duplicate these three times. Two times. Sorry. And let's connect the image to the image in the three nodes. Okay. And now let's select here the file output. So in the gold iPhone, I'll go here and uh, let's create a new folder, call it render. And uh, let's create a new folder here, call it gold iPhone. Blue iPhone and the red iPhone okay so in this case we are on the gold iPhone layer let's go here and let's go to our folder let's go to the gold iPhone open it and accept let's go to the blue iPhone uh, let's go to the blue iPhone folder that we created do the same open it enter and accept and uh, let's go to the final, finally to the red iPhone folder. 
Let's go here, enter, accept. Okay. So now let me go to my render settings. Let's put this on 200, turn this off, got the optics denoiser and let's save the project before rendering. And then let's hear the render image. Okay, awesome. So if we go to our render layers, to our render folder, sorry, you will find that we got this, this uh, layer of the blue iPhone. We got the gold iPhone and the red iPhone. And I think that's it, but let's take this tutorial to the next level. Uh, for example, Let's say that we want to have a plane here. Okay, so uh, let's actually create another um, layer. Let's just a uh, blank layer. Okay, and let's call this ground. Uh, let's actually change the name of this to ground. Uh, let's turn this on. So we got a problem here. So let's say we're going to render uh, this ground uh, separated from the other iPhone. So let's turn this uh, on. Let's turn this on and let's turn this on. So here I will present you the holdout uh, option. So you can just go here and activate that here in this uh, icon if you can't see this. And what I'm going to do is to turn this holdout on here, turn this on here, and turn this on. So the holdout, uh, what he's doing this is that he's converting all the objects that are in our collection in like some kind of alpha mask. Okay, so let's go to compositing. And uh, let's create another render layers. Uh, let's call this ground. Let's create a file output. Let's connect this here. Let's go to the folder here. Let's create a ground folder and accept. And uh, let's render this one more time. Okay, so the render has finished and let's check our folders. We got the same image that we got before, but also we got our ground here with our alpha mask here. Okay, so if we go to any compositing program like Nuke or After Effects, uh, let me import all my folders here. Okay. So I got here this iPhone, the blue, the red, the gold, the ground, and the gold. So let's import here the ground. And let's import all the other three, okay? So as you can see, we got this uh, alpha layer here. Uh, sorry, this alpha mask here. But we also got this red iPhone. Uh, actually, let me create a new black background here and post this here play this here and uh, actually I can go here and maybe apply a curve adjustment here without affecting the others okay so I can do the same here and uh, I don't know maybe apply another effects dear artist thank you for joining me today if you found value in this content, please consider liking and subscribing. Until the next time, and keep creating.